Welcome back to Scottish Movies and I'm about to go through my top 10 animated shows from the 80s. Um, now these are in no particular order mainly because I couldn't pick between them as to which is probably my favourite at least not at the moment anyway. I've got some that I prefer more than others but we'll uh, go through them anyway. Uh, first up I want to go through a couple of honourable mentions. Now there's a couple I've not got on um, on physical media of any kind uh, and that first one would be uh, a show called Centurions which uh, again running I think it was mid to late 80s uh, I remember that show being on a show called I think it was Get Fresh with Gilbert the Alien uh, I don't know if anyone will remember that but um, yeah um, it was basically Power Extreme you had the, uh, these three guys uh, used to get weapon systems beamed down, down from I think it was Skybolt it was called, and I don't know, they used to say, like, Power Extreme, and, you know, put their arms out and get all these weapons, and it was just a really cool animated show. And as far as I'm aware, it's, well, it's not on any kind of media, at least it's not uh, in this country. Uh, I think I could probably import some discs, but it's pretty expensive, so, uh, yeah, I haven't got that. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't name another one, maybe Inspector Gadget. Uh, classic from the 80s, used to love watching Spencer Gadget growing up. Uh, Mysterious Cities of Gold, um, which is a series that I remember watching. Um, he used to talk about in the old broom cupboard with uh, Philip Schofield when he was in the broom cupboard with, uh, was it Gordon the Gopher? Um, that's that's show me age. Um, and yeah, he, uh, he used to introduce the old Mysterious Cities of Gold, so he had a really catchy theme tune. Um, and the other two I'm going to mention, I haven't actually got a physical release. This is uh, a series first that was aired on ITV. Um, and they were only about sort of five minutes long from what I remember. And it's a show called Batfink. Uh, yeah, I've got this uh, this set of Batfink. Um, this, this was a great little cartoon. He had his, uh, his friend uh, Karate there. You can see him on the back. And he used to have a catchphrase, my wings are like a shield of steel, um, when when someone was like shooting at him or something. But yeah, this is a, a, a great set, a complete set. Um, we've got over 100, 100 episodes in it, or four DVDs. So yeah, uh, happy to own that. And I said that's the that's first honourable mention. Next one is a show, again, well, they're all from the 80s, but this, I think this is quite mid to late 80s as well. And it's uh, Mask. Uh, this was released, I think, one of these these animated shows, a bit like Transformers, that re was released to sell toys, basically. But this was quite a good show. Uh, this, once this DVD's only got like five episodes on it. Um, I would like to pick up maybe the full series at some point. Um, but yeah, uh, used to love Mask. Uh, on to the actual uh, top ten now. Um, as I said, these are no particular order. I'm just going to grab them as as they come. Uh, coming at number ten, we've got. The Real Ghostbusters from 1986. Yeah, you should love the Real Ghostbusters. Uh, obviously, massive Ghostbusters fan. Uh, yeah, this this just sort of translated to sort of animated uh, cartoons brilliantly. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I've got this. I think it's a complete first season I've got here. Uh, you can probably get more, but I, I was happy just to gra grab this. Uh, it's got what is it? Uh, how many episodes? I don't think actually so it's on two discs so so uh yeah. Uh but yeah, I had all the characters from the uh from from the movie, including like Slimer. So yeah, that was that was uh, a great one, that's uh, real Ghostbusters. Well up next is uh a cartoon I remember really from the early nineties, but I think it was actually released initially in late eighties. And it's a classic that is Teenage Me and Ninja Turtles. Now this is the Complete season one and two. Um, I know you can get uh, the, the the complete series. Um, uh, I don't know if you can get it over here. Um, I know it come in um, like a, 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 a the Turtles van uh, edition. Uh, I know Andy from Forgotten Winter Movies as, as that one is really cool. Uh, but yeah, you can't be the Turtles. I recently picked up the uh, the Switch release. Uh, of the Cowbunga collection, which are all the old arcade games and pretty much every Turtles game ever made, which is just awesome. And uh, yeah, the, the original Turtles favourite being Michelangelo can't be it. 
Yeah, great. Uh, coming up next, I've got one DVD here uh, with 100 minutes of um, animated goodness. Uh, I think there's only five episodes on there, though, um, because I don't think this has got a, a UK release, release in, not in complete format anyway. And it's G.I. Joe. Uh, yeah, I used to love G.I. Joe. Uh, like a lot of these things, with with, with you saw the toys as well growing up. Um, these are great fun. I, I, I remember watching the uh, the movie, which I do own as well, and um, it had a few sort of 90 minute specials from what I remember. Um, one particular one was um, Arise, the Pentor Arise, uh, when obviously Cobra Commander brought, uh, sort of tried to get uh, the DNA of um, all sort of worlds, uh, not leaders, but like people like uh, Genghis Khan and. Um, uh, Alexander and uh, I can't think now. Well, all these kind of um, people through history to make the perfect leader, and he made Serpentor. And uh, yeah, I remember that one being, that one being great. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that one. I don't think I have that back on v in VHS on the on the in the day. But uh, yeah, I've got this with a few episodes on. I would love to get um, more of these. Uh, next up, I've got a series that. Uh, he's on actually on a Region 1 US DVD, um, and this is probably pretty hard to come by now, but I've had these quite a few years, and it's the original animated series of Godzilla, uh, hands up who remembers this, used to love this, had Godzilla and used to have the little, um, little one, Godzuki, um, yeah, this is, this is great fun, these have got, uh, there's four episodes on this one, and I've also got Volume 2, Got another four episode on. I think that was all that was ever made. But yeah, I used to love these back in the day. Um, you had, you had the guys on the ship. Um, used to press the button, summon Godzilla when like some sort of creature come along. Uh, like I don't know, you can probably see on the back there, like that thing, uh, or maybe that thing. But yeah, um, fantastic series. Like I say, something I'll never ever get rid of. Um, Really proud to have that in my collection. Um, as I say, it's hard to get hold of. Next up is uh, my favourite, what you could say, Marvel show growing up. Uh, this is from, from the 80s. Well, obviously, they're all from the 80s. Um, and this is seasons one to three, which I think is a complete series of Spider Man and his amazing friends. Yeah, this was my Spider Man growing up. Um, used, to, used to love this with Iceman and Firestar. Um, yeah, I had all, all the villains. Um, just looking on the back there, it's got it's an episode with Thor. It's pretty cool. Um, I've not been through these since I got it all, all again, but um, yeah, I need, I need to check them out, actually. Um, but yeah, this was my Spider-Man, and uh, yeah, you should love this. Uh, next up, we've got a, a British uh, animated show, uh, which starred the voices of David Jason, or Dalboy, and also uh, Terry Scott. It was in like Terry and June, and it was of course Danger Mouse. Uh, yeah, annoyingly, I do have the complete collection of Danger Mouse probably about 10 years ago, but stupidly got rid of it. Um, and now I've just got this this DVD at the moment with uh, it's got six episodes on, but yeah, it's something I want to get back in my collection the complete collection. Um, used to love Danger Mouse, I thought it was hilarious. Um, it was probably at its best when it used to be air like five minute episodes, a bit like Bat Fink. Five or ten minute episodes uh, daily, and it used to like continue at the end, and you used to have to uh, wait till the next day to see what happened. And you'll have five episodes that spread throughout the week, so uh, remember going home from school watching them. It was, yeah, it was great. That's Danger Boss. Uh, coming up next, I've got a series I recently picked up um, from CEX um, with a voucher, and this was my target for this year, the main target I wanted to pick up. Um, and it was the He Man of the Masters of the Universe complete series set. Um, as I've talked about this before in a separate video when I uh, only unboxed it. Um, yeah, love He Man. He's just he's just classic eighties. Um, Skeletor, all the, all his goons, and um, yeah, it's a fantastic series. I need to get on to more of these as well. I've watched um, half a dozen or so so far. That's it. But I need to just bang them on now and again and watch. Uh, Watch uh, He-Man, it's just, just a classic. Um, 
Next up is a series that um, Ed, again, I think when was this now? About 80, I can't have had a date on it. I think this, again, I think this was kind of mid 80s. Um, and it's Thundercats uh, with old uh, Lion over there, as you can see on the back. So I've got the uh, complete first season. This is volume one, so it's got three. Three episodes on there, and I've also got volume two, which got the I don't know, well, uh, well, another I don't know how many there is 33, presumably 34, something like that. But yeah, um, I used to love uh, um, Thundercats back in the day. Um, this was one cartoon that really, I mean, the thing they brought out about out toys after it had been released, which made, made a change. Um, I don't, I don't remember ever having any of them, um, but yeah, great series, uh, plenty of action, um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know if there's a, a, a season two you can get, but um happy to own, own those two at the moment. Um, next up, we've got another classic staple 80s cartoon. Uh, and this was something that was uh, a sort of a, a toy seller, so to speak. And it, of, of course, Transformers. Uh, this is just the original series I've got here, but I have actually got the, the complete uh, series. Um, so, yeah, you have adore Transformers. Uh, you probably see on uh, previous videos where I mentioned about uh, Transformers, the movie being one of my favourites. Um, and yeah, yeah, uh, actually, it's great. They, they, they sort of lessened in quality, I think, as as they went along, um, with the animation and that. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's still great. Old Megatron and uh, Prime there, um, duking it out. Uh, yeah, can't beat Transformers. Love it. Uh, and the final one, uh, and I just realised not actually been counting down in this video, but as I say, this is this is a. Uh, the the last one, as I say, they're not in uh, they're not in a, a favourite order or anything. Um, but this is something again. I used to watch after coming home from school. Uh, what what year was this from? Doesn't actually say. I think this was more early eighties, and it's basically Dungeons and Dragons. I used to love Dungeons and Dragons with old Venger there, um, and you had uh, is he on there? I don't think he's on there, the, the old Dungeon Master and uh, one of the others there, I can't remember the name was it, I think he was called Eric, uh, uh, yeah, Uni there, the little unicorn, Bobby, if I remember rightly, the, 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 um, the, guy, the guy with the club, I can't remember what he, what, what he was called, um, he had the, uh, the wizard Presto, he had the thief, um, the acrobat, that was a Hank, I think, the main guy, the Archer, Archer's name. Yeah, he loved uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, this is great set. It's got a ton of ton of extra fe extra features on it. Uh, what it hasn't got, though, is an ending. Um, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons didn't have an ending. They were basically uh, catapulted into the world of Dungeons and Dragons, trying to find a way home. There was however many episodes there is on there. I can't remember if does it say. Uh I don't know, he doesn't say how many episodes it was, but basically, yeah, there, there is not an episode where they actually finally get home, which is really disappointing. I I, I, I remember watching it as a kid thinking, uh, you know, they're going to get home one day, and I was convinced there probably was an episode, uh, and I probably never saw it, but I got this, uh, been through it, and no, there was never an episode where they got home, which just just, just uh, got in, really. But... Um, yeah, it's actually got an air of the other two names. You've got uh, Sheila, who I think was a thief. Uh, Diana, who was the acrobat. Uh, yeah, Hank the archer. Bobby, the sort of the guy with the club. I can't remember what they used to call him. And Presto. Um, and yeah, so they uh, used to knock about a dungeon master. who was their guide in the world of Dungeons and Dragons, as he used to say. So yeah, and that is the, uh, the lot. So that's uh, my top ten animated shows from the 80s uh, comment down below uh, if any of these are your favorites 
Also, and if there's, there's any other ones you would have uh, add, added on to this list, um, yeah, don't forget to like and share and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for some more videos. Bye, guys.